you see all that uh, debris down at the bottom there. Uh, basically what I've done is I bought this jewelry ultrasonic cleaner at a uh, thrift shop for 99 cents a dollar. Anyhow, I put uh, clear alcohol and a little bit of mineral spirits in there uh, to try to wash. These are all brand new bearings, just ordered them. And all that black crap that you see has come out of these bearings over the course of about 12 or 13 hours. I'm going to take them out, put them on the paper towel there, and spray them down with WD-40 to rinse them. If you see that black spot, that was the result of rinsing one bearing with WD-40 after pulling it out of this bath last night. So the, all of that debris is in these bearings when they come from the factory. The Chinese, I mean, this thing isn't even very, this thing is garbage as far as vibrating too, but it's still uh, managed to get that much crap out of the bearing. bearings uh, shaking around now. I watched the bearings um, come through the, uh, they were rolling through the tracks as it would sit in here and vibrate. I watched a bearing, it would, you could see them, the, you could watch a bearing and it would come up through the top of the track like a bowling ball and come down and just jiggle down. So it was circulating all those bearings around all of the tracks. If you don't know how uh, the bearings roll in a linear bearing, they're not just in a straight line and roll in a track. There's a whole line of them. Think about like when you're in a bowling alley and the bowling ball returns to you. You only see the, 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 the the circuit that the bowling ball takes, you only see half of that circuit because it's visible, the, the part you throw. But the part where it returns to you is under the lane and you don't see that. Well, that's the same with these bearings. Inside, there, half of the, of the race of the bearing is under the lane that you don't see. Uh, there's a video I saw of somebody that took them apart and did that. Listen to the jiggle. noise is the little steel balls in there rolling around. And now I'm just going to give these a little coat and rinse to the V40. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the alcohol that I use is 91%, which means some of it is water. WD-40 is water displacement formula 40. I want to displace the water and I want to place a little bit of lubricant on these freshly degreased bearings because they have definitely been degreased. There's no grease left on them. They've been in that, that, that quote unquote ultrasonic cleaner for several hours. Now, it's like, look what's left in there now. Look at that. All that is debris, dust, manufacturing grime, dirt that has come off of brand new bearings. You can that's actually made. All that. All that stuff. Brand new bearings. So just think about that when you get a load of uh, new bearings and you're about ready to slip them on your really expensive uh, linear rods that you just bought, just remember what I just pulled out of those. And I'll bet that after 
a little bit. These are going to, the, the paper towel here will look the same way. I will have flushed a lot of this crap um, out of these bearings. What I'm going to do, I guess, is just let them sit for a few minutes and drain. And then I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag and oil them up and let them sit because I'm not ready to put the machine back together quite yet. I was going to grease the bearings and I still might. Uh, I created some things to, uh, one moment. right then, um, I have this stuff and I have one of these tips that I 3D printed. I made uh, 3D printed. The idea is that the tip slides inside the bearing and allows you to inject focus you fuck uh, framing one of the two. Uh, it allows you to inject a little bit of grease into the bearing, so I, I might give them a try, but I also might just run a little bit of uh, lighter oil on these things. I haven't decided yet. Um, Look at some of the shavings of metal that have come out of those bearings. I'm, I'm sure you can see that. I'm hoping you can see that. Look at some of the shavings. I mean, just look at them. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Holy crap. This is all coming out of new bearings. That's crazy. A little shaving. Let's see if I can get that part of it. Shaving the metal out of a new bearing, linear bearing. So when you go to think about sliding a new linear bearing on your on the shaft that you just purchased, just think about what that looks like. And that liquid that that stuff is in was clear when I started out. Just remember that. You should go to slide your new Chinese even bearings up onto your. Expensive uh, linear rods there. Just be mindful of that. 